Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulents and for today we're gonna be talking about Pearl Von Nurnberg. Itong succulent na to is another hybrid and it is a crossbreed between yung ating Echeveria elegans, ganyan ang kanyang itsura, and the other one is yung ating Echeveria gibiflora metallica. Unfortunately, I don't have the actual succulent for our gibiflora, but yung ating mga PVN, very similar yung kanilang look sa ating gibiflora metallica as compared nga dito sa ating mga elegans. Our PVN is characterized as having these spoon-shaped na leaves and they usually overlap towards each other and it will not be giving us these beautiful looking na rosette. What's interesting about this plant is its color kasi our PVN would be giving us a spectrum of blue-gray or parang pinkish purple na color and if you will keep on moving our PVN, you would notice na parang it is covered na or dusted with this white na powder. And that is what we called our pruinose, yun yung kanyang botanical term. And if you are familiar nga sa ating mga grapes, diba, sometimes they are coated with this parang whitish na powder. And that's very similar rin dito sa ating mga PVNs. And if you will be having a direct translation nung kanyang pangalan, it would now translate to Pearl of Nuremberg. And that is very true kasi nga yung kanyang leaves have this parang pearly appearance. And this succulent will also be giving us yung ating pink and yellow flowers. Our PVNs are also a short na succulent and usually dung kanilang size is less than half a foot tall. Hindi talaga sila yung mga malalaking sizes na succulents. And this is very perfect to those na medyo limited lang yung kanilang spaces or if you wanted to put them in arrangements, perfect sila because of their size and syempre yung kanilang color as well. We should also be giving them yung ating full to partial sun exposure and 6 hours of light a day is very ideal para sa ating mga PVN kasi if we will consistently expose them to our full sun, it will now be bringing out the deepest colors dito sa ating succulent na to and that is something that you really need to do if you wanted to achieve nga or see yung kanyang colorful side. Mas colorful pa sana itong ating PVN if hindi natin siya tinanggal doon sa kanyang original na location. But since we are currently renovating yung kanilang greenhouse, then medyo nag-fade away yung kanyang color. But still, you would appreciate na pinkish to purplish yung kanyang pinaka rosette sa gitna. While doon sa pinaka labas or outside na leaves, medyo nagiging bluish gray na nga siya. Since yung kanilang sun exposure nowadays is very limited. The soak and dry method is a classic way of watering our PVNs. As much as possible, we have to follow nga or imitate yung kanilang natural environment which is we have to give them some deep watering then we will let the soil dry out completely before watering it again. This is how it would look like pag yung soil niya is dry and here on the other hand, ganyan yung itsura ng kanyang soil if basa. I'm using the same type of soil which is a uh, loam soil. I didn't add anything. Yun yung mga nabibili lang sa ating mga garden shops. I've been using this kind of soil for a very long time and I didn't have any problem with drainage naman sa kanila. I would suggest na you would keep on experimenting sa soil mix na gagamitin ninyo sa inyong mga succulents. It doesn't mean na well draining yung ating soil is maganda na siya for our succulent. So you also need to consider nga yung ating nutrient content ng ating soil mix na gagamitin. Yung ating soil is very essential nga sa overall na health and growth of our PVN kasi if this is not well draining or if they are sitting in water, they are very susceptible nga to rot and fungal diseases. And that is something that we are trying to avoid. Fertilizing isn't a priority for this kind of plant, but if you wanted to give it a try na i-fertilize ang ating mga PVN, then you can make use of any succulent or cactus fertilizer that you have. It's always best for us to use a balanced liquid and a low nitrogen content na mga fertilizer sa ating mga PVN and other succulents since they are not really heavy feeders. Propagation-wise, they are very easy to propagate through their leaves 
and stem cuttings. And this one is already the bottom part ng kanyang leaves. Medyo dehydrated na siya. But it's the same process of removing the leaf nito. And mabilis lang siyang matanggal. Ayan. Ganun lang siya. This is how it would look like for us to have a perfect na leaf propagation. Dapat may U-shape siya following the shape ng kanyang stem sa pinaka dulo. Kasi pag hindi, then we won't be having a successful na leaf propagation. And let's try to remove another one. Siguro this. I will try to remove it. Ayan. You can just air dry this or if you want, you can just simply put it jaan around its spot and wait for it to naturally root and have its own offset. And yung second one is yung ating stem cuttings which is by far my most favorite. Ayan, here. We can also cut it here or itong ating pinaka main stem. Pwede natin siyang i-cut dyan. You would notice na yung kanilang stems are thin. Hindi sila ganun kakapal as compared nga dito sa kanilang pinaka rosette. Kaya sometimes I'm having a problem balancing nga itong kanyang pinaka rosette kasi Ayan no, ang dipis talaga niya and mabigat yung kanyang body. So I'm trying to put some plant stand here. This is just a DIY na plant stand from uh, Wallis Ting Ting. Anything as long as it will serve its purpose to support yung plant will do. So right now we have three na heads here and I hope na in the future we can have more of this. This one is a propagation and so far it's doing great. Mas mabilis silang lumaki if they will be separated or put sa kanilang pinaka sariling pot. Siyempre, when it comes to gardening issues, prevention is the key. We should always be on the lookout for symptoms so our succulents will continue to thrive and unang-una nga dyan yung ating mga pests such as our mealybugs. You can always check some mealybugs underneath. Yan, yung mga gaps in between sa kanyang leaves. Gustong gusto nilang pagtambayan niya, especially yung kanyang pinaka rosette. But the most important thing that you need to watch out for is yung ating root rot. We always kept on mentioning about yung danger ng ating root rot. And for you to have an idea kung ano nga ba talaga ang nangyayari, consistent moisture sa ating soil could now lead to bacterial infections. And since nagkakaroon tayo ng bacterial infections, the root will be affected and as a result nga, mabubulok yung ating roots. And in the end, syempre, it will affect the entire plant, yung kanyang stems, until yung kanyang leaves and eventually would lead to death. The solution is very simple. We should not overwater our PVN or other succulents. And lastly, if we're gonna be talking about the toxicity nitong ating PVN, they are very safe to both pets and to us humans. Kaya it's very safe for us to keep on propagating or put them in any place that you want them to be. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.